Hi everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to look at Microsoft Stream and how to upload a video. Before we get started, just want to remind you, I'm posting every week at the moment, so please subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. So to do this, you're going to need to go to the Stream homepage. You can get there from the app launcher. And then if you don't see the Stream app in the first page, choose all apps and then scroll down until you can see Stream. So clicking on that will land you on this page. And then to upload a video, you come to the right hand side here and choose this little up button. That will then ask you to either drag files into this space, this white square, or you can browse to upload. You can drag by choosing the Explorer and choosing the video. This is the video I've got here. You just click on and drag it into that space and that will begin the process. So the other way to do that is if I go hit browse instead, you can go and browse to the video like that. Choose it and click open and the same thing happens. So what's happening now is that the video is being uploaded and you can track the progress up here at the top, uploading. You can see it's on 0% at the moment and that will update as it goes along. While that's happening, I can fill out the rest of the details of the video. So I've got a name because it's taken the name from the video. I can add a description in here. I can also put in hashtags. I can then choose the language. So I've got a bunch of different languages. There is a default for Microsoft Stream. Uh, in my case, it's English, but I can choose another one if I want. Further down, uh, you'll see the thumbnail. So it chooses one for you, but you can also choose some other samples here which is basically just grabbed from the video itself. And you can always click on the plus here and upload your own image if you want to. Scrolling down, I can choose the permissions as well. So notice at the top here, I've got a checkbox saying, allow everyone in your company to view this video. So this is the default, so anybody can watch this video. That means anyone with a link. You also have these options here where you can choose my groups, channels, and people. You can say my groups, this user is a member of the sales and marketing group. I can choose them. You can see it's added the sales and marketing group down here. I can also share this with channels. I can add this to a channel and I've got some company wide channels. So channels that anyone can join and anyone can see the video. And I can also share it with people. If I choose people, I can share with specific people. And by typing in every instance here, it's going to look up based on the keyword that I add. So here you go. I've got some viewers in here now. Now, if I was to come to the top now and say, actually, I don't want to allow everyone in the company to view the video. I just want certain people to view it. I can uncheck that. And it says, are you sure that you want to do this? Because it means that not everyone in the company will be able to see the video. So if I'm sure about that, I can say yes. And now notice it's taking away the, the products channel that I added earlier because that is a company-wide channel and it won't let me publish to it. So you see you've got some control over who sees what here. And actually, I changed my mind. I do want to allow everyone in the company to view the video. And I'm going to leave it like that now. So scroll down. I've also got some options here. Now these are all set as default because they're really useful, but you can switch them on and off if you want to. So this top one here, people, Microsoft Stream is smart enough to be able to go through the video, identify the people in it, and then when you play back the video, you can actually move through the timeline to get to the part where those people are speaking or they're on the video. You can switch that on and off if you want to. It's really useful, so it's on by default, but the option's there to switch off if you like. Comments is a comment section at the bottom of the video, so everybody who watches it can actually make a comment and you can get some interactivity, a bit of discussion going around the video, so that's really useful too. You've also got captions here. Stream will automatically generate a caption file without you having to do anything. So this is a really cool feature that you probably don't want to switch off, but you can if you want to. You can also upload a subtitle file here as well. Just click on select the language, and then you can select the file. So if you have the subtitles written out that you'd like to show with the video, 
what's spoken during the video. Um, and perhaps this is useful if the video is in English but you want to add another language. After a while you're going to see at the top here that the video has been uploaded and the processing is complete. That means that the video is now ready to be published. So it's in stream, but it's not published for the world to see. When you scroll down here, you're going to see two buttons, a share button and a publish now. So to publish the video, to make it available to everyone, you just press on publish now. And now it's published. If you want to go and see the video, like to the video page, you can click on this little link here where it says published and Town Hall Highlights, the name of the video, and you can also delete it. So if you've made a mistake, you want to get rid of it, you can delete that using the bin there. So if I click on the, the title of the video, it will take me to the video page, and off it goes. Now notice over here on the right, we've got a transcript. So this is automatic, it just creates the transcript for you um, without you having to do anything, so that's a really cool feature. The other thing is the people feature that we switched on is here. I've got two people in this video and I can move the slider to the page. So if I wanted to see where this lady was speaking, I could just move the slider to this area. And if I wanted to sp see where that guy was speaking, I could move it back to that area. And lastly, you'll also see a notification that the video has been uploaded. So you can go to your notifications and you'll receive an email that just says that your video has been uploaded and there's a little bit about it and then you can click on it to open up the video to the page that we just looked at. So that's how you upload a video to Microsoft Stream. I hope this helped and if you like the video please subscribe and I'll see you next time.